Welcome to a brand new episode of Sequel Rights, the podcast where we take a look at the franchises that make you go, they made how many of those? And we give each and every sequel a fair trial. My name is, and I'm here with, and, oh God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're here talking beneath the planet of the, the apes. apes with our psychic powers. Yeah. That's right. And we have two very special guests with us tonight. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Hey. Thanks to everyone's name for audio <laughs> SEO okay, purposes. Okay, okay. okay, sorry, it's a joke. We're watching a goofy movie here. Okay. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm Justin Camps, and I'm here with. Elizabeth Helley. And Tyler Hymanson. And we do have very uh, two very special guests here tonight. We've got writer, director, uh, Almag Avidan uh, Antonier with yep, us. Yep. And we have uh, Jennifer Levinson as well. Yes, hi. Actress, actress Jennifer Levinson. Writer, producer, everything. Do it all. all the do, do it. <laughs> Many threats. All the threats. Okay. Lot yeah. giver, lot taker. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, and uh, I mean, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for having us. We're very excited to have you here to talk uh, Beneath the Planet of the Apes and also uh, to talk about your uh, recently released film, uh, Trust. Yeah, we're, we're excited to talk about both equally. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I mean, we want to talk a little bit about your film. It, it came out in uh, 2022. Uh, stars Jennifer here. It does. Yeah, actually, we went on a festival tour, I guess you could say, in 2022. But we just came out on VOD two weeks ago. So yeah. Awesome. yeah. Kind of Very feels recently like, released. Yeah, now, now it's a more recent release. Yeah. Out That's in the right. world, finally. That's great. Yeah, I uh, got a chance to watch the film uh, on Amazon, and it was great. I loved it. It was so funny, and like, well... I tend to laugh at dark humor. So that's, that's why good. I say it was so funny, <laughs> but it also is very like dramatic and impactful. Um, and can you just kind of like tell us how do you tell people what it is or yeah. what it's about? Yeah. So uh, it's essentially about three neurotic siblings attempting to reconcile over their mother's death. And there's a shocking funeral and a crazy reading of the will. And the there's a whole life lesson in there as to uh, is it worth putting yourself in a position that you don't want to be in mentally to reconnect with people that you are related to. So I kind of explore those themes. Mm. It sounds like something that a lot of people could probably relate yeah. to and maybe like work some stuff out through like watching it, you know, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. yeah, no, but it was, it was a, a very fun process over the last several years and, um, and it's finally there. It's, it's very exciting. And how did That's you get amazing. involved as a director? So Jen and I have worked together on several projects, starting with like YouTube way back in the mm -hmm. day, feels like another lifetime. And then uh, we worked on this like commercial together. And then um, Jen was working on this short film and I was not involved in the short film. And then I remember we went out to this bar once and I, you know, she was in post-production on the short. And I was like, how's the short going? How's it going? And she was pretty much telling me about the woes of post-production <laughs> on the short. And then as like a half joke, I was like, oh, if you need a different director for the feature, throw my, my name in there. Then next morning, I had the script in my inbox. <laughs> and um, that's and so the great. rest is history. Oh, that's was, so yeah, cool. That's awesome. You're together. just like, help us immediately, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have had him come on board the short, but I almost heard me say this a thousand times. I was like, oh, there's no way. He's so talented. We're in different leagues here. Aww. So I don't think he's, he's going to work modest, with me. So modest. when he made this joke at a bar, I was like, oh, I'm taking this as a serious thing. I'm sending it to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I read the script and and I knew it'd be good, but it was even better than I thought it would be. Um, and I I mean, I love, you know, dark comedy, mm -hmm. dark humor. I mean, like I'm a I'm a big Coen Brothers fan. So I was mm -hmm. just like, you know, not that this film is Coen Brothers, but I it had things that I was like, I you know, I, I love this. Reminiscent. Vibe. Yeah, reminiscent. Some of the tones, like, I love yeah. dark humor um, and drama. And I was like, this this is a script that has both and you know, there's a lot of great characters to explore so i was mm -hmm. you know I was ready to dig in where did you guys shoot well my parents live in a house <laughs> that they left for a few weeks oh <laughs> so, so we 
we shot in their house. Very fortunate that they let us use it. Because okay. And Encina. Yeah, they tried oh, to nice. get us not to shoot there, even though I wrote the script. I was like, oh, we'll save money shooting there. Yeah. We probably didn't because, of course, <laughs> permitting adds up. Yep. Right. Right. Um, well, and like, I guess it's not really a spoiler, but you clear out the entire house. Oh, yeah. My yeah. parents, before they left, they were like, make sure you don't touch this thing. Make sure this one painting. They were like, do not touch this painting. And the moment they left the house, I saw our production designer walking through <laughs> the painting. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's funny. The whole time, it was like, we won't move it. We won't uh -oh. move it. The moment they left. Oh, my God. But, you know, in his defense, uh, Tom Wyman, who did a phenomenal yeah. job, like, it was... It's the safer thing to do for the painting mm. yeah. to get it out of the way. Right, for but sure. then we knew, you know, Jen's parents were like some of the first people to watch this. Mm. And, yeah. you know, I think we both had a lot of anxiety over them <laughs> watching <laughs> this empty oh house and the things they told us not to move that were clearly moved. So we're like, okay, let's just say we VFX it out. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Out. Uh, <laughs> but Jen's mom was like, oh, yeah. 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 That's like a sitcom plot. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then what was it like for you being the writer and starring in this? You know, I had to uh, relinquish a lot of control and really just trust Almog with the process. Trust. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 at a certain point I kind of gave uh, Almog the script and I said, here are the things that I definitely want. And I didn't want a love story in there. Mm. And I wanted the ending to unfold the way it did. And then I said to him that he could edit anything however he wanted to. I'm open to adjusting any other aspect of it. So I think that was helpful that I wasn't completely married to every single word on the page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it was honestly very easy working with Jen in that capacity. I know a lot of writers do, like, want mm -hmm. every word said exactly as it's written. Um, but Jen was very... It was very easy to work with Jen because, again, she was focused on the script, but also a lot on the performance. And I think it was it was... Just great to collaborate. Very, Both of us were very open and, and figuring out the story together. That's nice. exciting. That's um, well, it is a film that takes place uh, in present day, uh, which is why we've asked you to come on to view Beneath the Planet of the Apes <laughs> from 1970. <laughs> we, we definitely watched there's the movie a, little, this morning. Of, yeah. We were trying to make connections between that movie and... <laughs> And I was like, well, the vastness of the land of the apes relates to the vastness that Kate feels. Yeah. Uh, the emotional yes. distances. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it is a coincidence because I knew Amog from uh, both of our work with Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, you have a movie coming out. Come to the pod. And so that's why how we're all here. Yeah. And they were kind enough to go on this ape's journey. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. We, like, if I'm being honest, it was the first thing we did this morning. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, yeah. actually, this specific movie, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, I've never seen, I realized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. That's yeah, perfect. I guess it was about time. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, well, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here again. And people can... Uh, uh, you said it's out on video on demand right now. I know I rented it on Apple TV Plus. Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. It? Oh. Nice. <laughs> right, yeah. Straight to the we buy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's available. It's on Amazon and iTunes and Google Play. Just make sure you download the correct trust because obviously yes. it's a very popular name. <laughs> yeah. So that was the a whole with, conversation. Yeah. Right. Look for trust with Almog and Jennifer. Yes. Yes. Not yeah. Victoria Justice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless you're a fan yeah, of hers, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 watch yeah. it after. <laughs> so, yeah, what was both of your guys' connection to Planet of the Apes? Have you seen any? I know you said you hadn't seen this one before, but have you been f a fan of them at all? I mean, I, I think the latest movies are out of this world mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. I, I've loved every single one. I cannot wait for the new one that's coming out. Um... And I mean, I've seen some of the older ones, like you know, like I saw the Tim Burton, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. but but um, I realized I've never seen like the you know the OGs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, which a part of me, you know, if we had more time, I would have watched the OG, yeah. yeah, this one. But maybe I will now. You got to see like at you least yeah, you this. got to see yeah. most of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this was my first. Planet of the Apes movie. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Okay. I'm so sorry, but also thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Give the rest of the franchise a chance. Yeah. yeah. That's right. yeah no, I, I will. Okay. You're going to be hooked now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Well, sweet. Uh, should we just get into it? I think we should. 
Or... Uh, yeah, but um, also just really quick, you can oh, email yeah. us at the sequel rights at gmail.com. Oh, our own promo. We got to do all of our stuff. <laughs> yeah, find us on social at sequel rights on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, which is being uploaded now weekly. Hey. Hooray oh, for wow. me. Hooray for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> And Tyler. Uh, yeah, and rate review wherever you're listening. Go back and listen to some of our old episodes. Share them out on wherever you still use social media. Uh, it helps other people find the audience, and that's a great place to let us know what you think we should be doing next. Although it's going to be we, a while. It's going to be <laughs> yeah. a little bit. <laughs> just a couple months. We got about know? eight more of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just getting started. Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's do it. Okay, you let let's uh, you know let's fall into a couple random holes and see what's happening beneath the planet of the apes. <laughs> The Planet of the Apes was only the beginning. What lies beneath may be the end. The only good human is a dead human! In faith! In faith! In faith! Can a planet long endure half ape, half human? You'll know the terrifying answer when apes and humans meet head on beneath the Planet of the Apes in the atomic rubble of New York. The guerrilla war machine is on the march. Human mutants strike back with new frightening weapons of the mind. 20th Century Fox presents Beneath the Planet of the Apes with James Franciscus, Maurice Evans, Tim Hunter, Linda Harrison, and Charlton Heston as Taylor. Can a planet long endure half ape, half human? The answer lies beneath the planet of the apes. Rated G. <laughs> Rated G. Thank goodness. That's why the blood was so red. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing horrifying in this movie at all. Yeah. That was kind of insane. <laughs> well, I found like you know, yeah. Last week we used this super long trailer that's mostly just score. And yeah. Sound yeah. Yeah. This one I found like a TV spot that I was like, all right, this one doesn't have too much going on, and there's actually someone talking about what's happening, and it's short. So okay. there you go. What that's was what the previous got. trailer? Uh, it was for uh, the first film, Planet of the Apes. Got it. Got and they, you know, like uh, back then the trailers were like three minutes long and they're like <laughs> mostly like words coming up on the screen. Yeah, so there's, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> there's no audio of a yeah. guy going like, the Planet but of the, the Apes. Apes. But it was yeah. really cool that it used the score. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I liked it. Yeah. yeah. But. Uh, so yeah, this is two years after two years the after. original film yeah. that we watched last week. Uh, and it was pretty quick. It's pretty, pretty quick. quick. It's an interesting exercise, I think, in what we've seen. You know, we we have some ongoing theories of sequels. Yeah. Because uh, we've seen our fair share of them. And it is kind of an interesting exercise in they didn't quite understand what the people liked about the first one. Yeah. So they were kind of just like, ah, I guess we should just kind of do all of it again <laughs> a little bit and just yeah. kind of see what happens. And like, we'll just do the same story. With a guy who looks 90% the same. <laughs> that was so, that was so yeah. I don't know why they had to pick someone that looks so similar. I mean, I guess that's just who they could cast. But Version 2.0. There, there was like this one moment that she, uh, what's her name? Nova. Right? Yeah. And yeah. She, like, she looked at him and she was like, Taylor? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> we all thought that. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah. also yeah. maybe it was cast for this one moment. Maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was like the one thing I. So you know, no, us too, Onova. Us too. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Charlton Heston famously uh, didn't want to come back. Yeah. They begged him to do it, and now this happens all the time. Where yeah. you know the famously Harrison Ford, like it's like, okay, okay, I'll come back for a little bit, the beginning. I don't want to be there the whole movie. I'll come in at the end, and then you got to kill me because yeah. I'm done with this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so um, he did that, and he donated all the money yeah, he to really charity. Did, he as really well. didn't want to do oh, it. Yeah. 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 Apparently, I couldn't figure out what charity, but yeah. Yeah. The. Um, the it was interesting like uh you know i, I watched the blu-ray and it had all mm -hmm. these special features uh well actually there was really only one but it was all about like how it was actually really interesting for us because yeah. we talked about this a little bit last week how at this time like they weren't one they weren't really doing sci-fi movies like this right. and two they weren't really doing sequels yeah mm -hmm. uh but the first movie was such a huge hit that everyone started being like we got to do a sequel like, let's do this and but there was a lot of um the studio was going through uh, a lot of failures at that time. <laughs> and so it was like a lot of pressure on this. And so it went through all these iterations to try to like, they went back to Rod Serling. Yep. He wrote a script called uh, like planet of the men, I think is what <laughs> yeah. it was called. And it was supposed to be about like no uh, Taylor's son leading an army of humans against uh -huh. the apes or something. Okay. And that didn't work out. Um, and they eventually brought in some other people that, uh, you know, brought us to the movie we have now, but it's interesting just to hear the different like 
all the steps they went through. To yeah, make even this the author of the original novel tried to yeah. tried to turn in a yeah. script, and they were like, "Man, they're like, man." So. It is amazing that there's that much iteration for. Then they did a feature film within two years. Yeah, and anyway. released it. I mean, they used all the same sets basically. So. Yeah. <laughs> And well, yeah, I, and apparently the New York stuff was Hello Dolly sets destroyed, <laughs> which really? I was excited about. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Hello Dolly was one of the like financial failures or whatever uh, that they were. How talking. dare they? First well, of all. that's what they said in the <laughs> how cathartic for the studio. Yeah. <laughs> we, need make, we need to make some money. Somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> they figured it out, but yeah, I guess Charles and Heston like he wanted to be. Originally, he wanted to be killed off immediately in the beginning. Uh -huh. And then the studio was like, oh, I don't know. How about you are gone and come back? And then we'll kill <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it can make it seem like you're still in the whole movie. Sure, <laughs> kind sure. Of. Why yeah. not? Why not? But yeah, yeah, it does start with like a good 10 minute recap. Yeah. Uh, so you basically not even a recap. It's it. literally just yeah. like, here's the end of the first movie. Again. Which I'm sure at this time was very uh, revolutionary. We, this is something we see all the time in horror movies. And we yeah. do horror movie nights is that they're like, oh, we got to remind you how it ended. So here's just 10 minutes of the last movie <laughs> yeah. kind of clipped together to get you into and this. Here's and here's other things you didn't know were happening right, at exactly. the same time. Yeah. And, so, then, yeah. and then we get a Force Awakens version of the first movie with a new guy. <laughs> right. So did you guys coming into this without having just watched the original, do you feel like you kind of got the gist of it? I looked up a summary of the first one. Uh -huh. Okay. So I could be prepared for the second one. Honestly, I think I was just confused because I thought that was the same actor. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Jenna, it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> like the same guy. Um, but then I got it, the hang of it pretty quickly after that. I feel like if they were doing this again today, it would just be one of the Chris's and they just swap out for another Chris. <laughs> right, right. For Liam. Yeah. I was also. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> he is, he's Liam Hendricks. That's who yeah. he is. Even they look more different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. True. <laughs> I was also like a, a bit confused in the beginning, even though we had just watched it, but we had talked about like, uh, last week, like, how soon are we going to see new uh, humans? Yeah. Like, are they going to have another person crashed out? <laughs> and so when they showed the ship, I was like, I was like, what? They I thought it like crashed in a lake. Like they already right. retconned yeah. where it crashed. Like I thought it was literally the, the same, same ship. ship. It, it, I think it is the same ship. Well, but, yeah, 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 but I didn't think it was like another group of astronauts crashed. I thought they I mean, were just like changing where the thing had crashed and they had come back to it or something. Yeah, and I could see like why they did it this way because they didn't want to have to like start over from square zero with like just random people, I guess. And then Charlton Heston refused to come back for the whole movie. So like, all right, just bring another yeah. guy that is like similar to him. But it was a little bit kind of like, okay, this is retcon central because there, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't make sense to send a rescue mission because there's so many thousands of years ahead right. and w they never got any message back that they right. needed to be rescued. So why would there be a rescue mission that they blasted off like one it year really after weird. he left when he it's was really expected to point. never come back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, and they're so bad at being astronauts, they crashed the same exact I know. Like they come. Same thing happens. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> you get so out, far out in space, you just get looped back around. Yeah. And one of his yeah. crewmates, I already forgot the guy's name. No, Brent, obviously yeah. Brent. <laughs> yeah. One of Brent's crewmates is alive when they first get there and they do the thing. And I guess I'm just like <laughs> tired of it after seeing so many movies about time dilation. Yeah. That now when someone's like, Oh, all my family and friends are dead. I'm like, we know. You're like, shut up. Go on, <laughs> you know, get over it already. <laughs> it was, like that guy was so funny too. Cause he was talking like so slow. And I was like, this guy's a horrible actor. And then it was like, oh wait, no, he's dying. He's dying. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, oh my yeah. God. I, I thought oh, he was so just like- to, like raise the volume. Yeah. 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 I, what he was saying. I thought he was just being a bad actor, but I guess he was supposed yeah. to be like, the thing I should be <laughs> more sympathetic to victims of time violation. <laughs> <but, laughs> I'm just so over You know, it. that's one thing that we want to bring out and spread the message here on this true, podcast. That's true. Is, yeah, that be more empathetic of victims of time dilation. Yeah. But even, you know, in the last movie, we talked about how creepy and gross it was that they had like- had brought a woman with them for like a right. new Eden plan. Yeah. And so like, unless that rescue mission could get back as very, very quickly, that guy was, that guy's wife and kids were going to be dead no matter what. I know, yeah. <laughs> which is why I'm always like, what? Like you're an astronaut. Yeah, That's what you okay, like, yeah. You're, you're a space timey wimey astronaut. Was so That's weird. what you yeah, signed up I was for. like, why would you leave? You had kids, bro? <laughs> yeah. It didn't seem like anyone else had anybody. They were just like, I'm alone. He was like, I space. thought they were just real annoying. He was like, I thought there'd be a library where there'd be a portal to my, chil my child's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They would have figured out that's immortality what they That's by what now. they promised me. This was pre-Interstellar. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> Didn't figure it out yet. 
They're also like la- last week when I was looking up the exact date that they crashed. There's also all this controversy because in this movie they changed the year oh. to well. like 3955 instead of 3978 or something. So yeah, because he's trying to say that he came through a like a wormhole. Or <laughs> well, in the apes community, everyone's like, I don't know why they did this. We, we'll have to ask some of the apes experts yeah. later on about that. But. Apes experts. Yeah. Apes experts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what else? So uh, Mr. Brent is running oh, yeah. around. James Franciscus. Yeah, his close casting is also interesting because I had not seen, I thought I'd seen the first movie. And after I watched it, I was like, wait, I've just absorbed this by osmosis. Uh. And it's kind of the same thing for this one. And I think that this guy looks more like Charlton Heston in my mind, looks like in these movies than Charlton Heston does. Oh, boy. Like, <laughs> from over, like, yeah. Wait, is that Charlton Heston? I was like, no, like, I was like, no, this guy's better. Like, I cast him better. Like, he has, he has a, the, the look that I envision. So yeah. I feel like I've seen it as a pastiche with, because I think he, does he continue on to the other ones? Or is know. it just like images from this one? But yeah. I mean, I don't but know. It looks like he got less, shot in the head. Yeah, so yeah, I think, yeah, I it's think definitely no. less distracting. It's going to be, it's pretty, this ending is pretty definitive. Yeah, well. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> yeah. I was like, is this why James Franco was cast? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe. 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 James Frank sisters? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, he's just like a guy, and I guess he was on a bunch of TV, but that's not something that we've seen parodied to death. Right. So it's not like as distracting to be like, oh, it's Charlton Heston doing the like, eh, right. like Charlton Heston thing, you know? It's it, like, yeah, they yeah. said he was very excited about this role because, um, uh, yeah, he had been on just a bunch of boring TV where he's like, just suit and tie guy. Yeah. And now here he gets to be like action, muscly, loincloth okay. guy. <laughs> but it's very obvious when they cut between him and the stunt double. Yes. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was so entertaining to watch. Yeah. Uh, well, so we see in flashback, r- pretty soon he meets Nova. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brent meets Nova, and they can't communicate, of course, because she ki- she still can't talk at all. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how many, how Taylor's long a bad has teacher. passed, if it's only been a couple days or whatever. He but, was trying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so they can't communicate, but he sees the dog tag, so he goes with her. And we find out in flashback that... <laughs> Taylor basically disappeared into what a green was screen. I was so confused. Oh yeah, this, yeah. Was, this is great. I, I think was like, it doesn't make I think, sense till way later. I think Moses was there. I'm uh. not sure. <laughs> I just love. I just love this whole part because I was like, "What in the fuck is even <laughs> what is happening? It looks what is so, going on in this movie? It looks so fake that I was very relieved to find out later that it actually was fake. <laughs> like, in, like in in the story, it's yeah. fake. Yeah. Yeah, so, that would trick apes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a wall of fire, and then there's just lightning everywhere. Uh-huh. And then he just kind of like starts walking toward a candy and he just disappears. I yeah. actually didn't even understand when he was like, that wasn't there before. I, yeah. I thought he was talking about the canyon, but he was talking about like this wall or something. I thought he was talking about the canyon. Yeah, also. I thought he was talking about the canyon, but like there was an earthquake. So I was like, yeah, it's an earthquake. Like, yeah. We saw it form. I don't know. And then, yeah, he literally, yeah, he disappears into a wall. What's the and you're disappearing like, huh? into the wall? I was so, I was just like. I, I think, think it's so, the illusion that the. Yeah. So it was part of the illusion. He it was, it was probably like, like an entrance to the underground that I they see. were just covering up with a God, fake it. okay that makes that makes more mind sense. wall oh. <laughs> <laughs> mind yeah well and also he told her to like maybe if she had run after him she could have just gone with him but because yeah. he told her right. like stay there like i guess she didn't go find but zero she didn't understand yeah. a word he was saying no right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stay here yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just like yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, that's pretty spot on. That was, oh, yeah. I can hear how accurate yeah, that yeah. impression <laughs> was. Yeah. There's nothing going yeah, on. Yeah. 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 What's the what's the direction for that scene? Yeah. Just like do less. Yeah. No yeah. less. Yeah. Less. Yeah. She I must not possibly do any yeah. less. <laughs> she did smile in a moment when she was, I think, in like a cage mm-hmm. area. Yeah. When yeah. she was supposed to be upset. I thought yeah. that was very Oh yeah. Well, she was, was having fond memories of the cage. Yeah, it was a big deal in the first movie that he like even taught her how to smile because humans are oh, so yeah. desolate that they don't even know like oh, that's biologically how yeah, to smile. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, okay. it's a, yeah. Somehow she has a great a trope. She has a moment. Slightly better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just a bad acting moment. No, it's no just it came like the from only... a great trope of a guy teaching a girl to smile. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> women boy. should smile more yeah. <laughs> whether they live on the planet of uh, yep. apes or humans. Nuclear war yeah. be damned, yeah. <laughs> it's real cool. <laughs> Um, well, she must have understood some of it because yeah. she does end up taking them, uh, taking sure, uh, they Mr. Find zero. Brent to uh, the ape city. Yes. Which at this because, point, because the movie has to follow the exact same plot points of the first film. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, you know, last week too, we had more, co- we had a little bit of conversation. Like, is this the only ape city? Yeah. And I'm like, at this point, it feels like it's the only, only ape city. city. <laughs> like, there's no other apes. This is the only one. These are the only it's called, ones. It's called. 
Ape City. Right? I mean, that's yeah. what like, they yeah. refer to it right. as. Yeah. I don't there know if that's the official There was one point where title. he, I thought he was about to say the title of the movie. He was like, oh my God, it's a, and I was like, say it, say it. But he instead he said, it's a city of apes. And I was like, <laughs> like <laughs> But not bad title. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and he, uh, yeah, he catches them in the midst of a like public forum about whether or not they should go to war <laughs> against whatever is out. There. I don't know. Yeah. They don't even know. They don't even know who they're fighting. But I, I did want to say that this whole scene is like one of the only times in this second movie that I'm like, okay, this is really like from the book, like this sort of okay. forum scene and bringing up the kind of um, racial tensions. I guess, or, okay. well, I don't know if you'd call it racial, so but the, between in the, the book, orangutans. Well, yeah, and the, yeah. in, in the book, the apes have Species. an exposition exposition. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the <laughs> the gorillas are like the warmongers. The orangutans are mm-hmm. supposed to be like the scientists and the chimps are just kind of like random people, mm-hmm. I guess, like the artists and the rest of the people and the bigger biggest population population but the least power right. and uh so that they were kind of going into that into this but yeah we get this new guy uh ursus, ursus. Right? ursus. Yeah. Yeah. which it took me probably far too long to understand those were orangutans like i, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I was just like interesting like, yeah choice. and then and then we discovered it was orangutan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, i was very I was focused on the here. lusciousness of the hair, hair. Yes. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Very luscious. yeah they science. definitely all Beautiful are very costuming. distinct um, but yeah, we get to see that Zira and Cornelius and Dr. Zaius are all there. And I think that they have had a little upgrades in their, uh, yeah. ape makeup since last, uh, film. Yeah. I feel like it looked pretty much the same a little bit, maybe a little bit better. It was maybe a little bit better. I think yeah. that they probably figured out how to light it a little bit better. It's a little bit more expressive like, in my opinion. Yeah. How were the, how were the, cause I didn't see the first one, yeah. but how were the mouths? The mouth movement. It's pretty much the same. The, yeah. upgrade, the eyes were an upgrade, I yeah. feel like. Um, but yeah, in the second one. But the mouths are kind of like static, and, but you can see their mouths. They're opening the and closing. Yeah. It just yeah. doesn't. It's just like very when they open their mouth. I was just like, oh, the teeth even are yeah. 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 specific, you know? It's, in this one, yeah. no two apes had to kiss, though. That was definitely <laughs> yeah, the most that was awkward a moment. That of the was a limitation one. of When the, they kissed, the it was like, yeah. oh, no. But this one didn't even come up. plastic. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so yeah, what's happening? Um, yeah, basically, uh, I don't know. The the gorillas want to go out to into the forbidden zone because I think like you know we don't really understand this until later, but some of them have been getting kidnapped and tortured and stuff. And I don't. I think they know that something's out there, but they don't know what. Yeah, it's yeah, it's unclear to me if it's actually motivated or because it's going through all the military stereotypes. If it's just like there's land and we must conquer it. Well, I feel like Doctor Zayas said that something got into their minds or something. So okay, like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like they went out there and saw something, and they were like, "We got to figure this out," or "We must attack it before it attacks sure. us," kind of thing. We must, very, we must take uh, all of our soldiers to Ape Summer Camp where they can do riding and target practice. Archery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was hilarious. very militaristic vibes. Uh, you know, Jordan Klepper was on the side interviewing <laughs> angry apes. No, uh, but like they were very uh, militant and wanting to go. And the orangutans yeah. are kind of like, oh, I don't know about this, but they're going along with it. And then uh, Zira is the only one that's like, F this. I'm not standing up. Yeah. Like, I, I, I just love that there are multiple scenes where Ursus is going on about like, we must protect the apes. And then Dr. Zayas is like, got his hand in his head like, yeah, this fucking guy. <laughs> it's like I can't even with these these, yeah. gr- these damn gorillas. We get, we get a full war protest. Uh, the protest is probably my favorite yeah. part of the entire yeah. movie because it was so funny. Okay, but it's funny the protest. I was just like, it, you have a lot of space to go around them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, You don't have to have this whole violent situation. pick them up. Yeah, yeah. You can just you can just ignore them. Yeah. Really, they needed someone to hand over a, well, a Pepsi. Well, yeah. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. They wanted to just shoot them all right, and then they were yeah. like, yeah. no, we can't do yeah, that. Doctor Zayas, thankfully. But but then he was like quietly, and then he picked up a gun. (laughs) (laughs) No, they were great. I thought it was great they were protesting, but I thought it was funny that all of their like writing was just in English and our writing. Um, But I guess we did. They were writing a lot in the first movie, yeah. but, and then the, also the ape army had a lot of flags and symbols that yeah. they never really explained. But they had like bright hot pink like, yeah, flags yeah, yeah. Uh, for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, that whole scene when they're like leaving, yeah, with the with the protests and everything was really cool because they just have so many people. Yeah, you see like all yeah. these extras in their full costume. Full apes. Yeah, like it was very. I couldn't help but think um, the whole time. I think I mentioned it like twelve times. Like the amount just of like. <laughs> uh, the makeup department, yeah. and hair, yeah, like makeup, and costumes, like for all these people, 
I was just—it's nuts. Yeah, I feel like you crazy. could see, and it's like, and it's clearly California. And mm-hmm. even if it's even if it's winter, there's days where that could be hot, oh, or yeah. it could be bad. Like, oh, like it's a nightmare. Yeah, and it looked like it was dusty as fuck. Yeah, right. Um, I it did look though that there were like some apes that had like the normal makeup, mm-hmm. and some that yes. just looked like they had masks. Yeah, the pullover. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, Anytime little. an ape was like looking up, I was like, can I see? Before we leave the city, though, we have to go back and talk about this like freaking uh, comedic door behind them in the other room. I was beating my Spe- wife situation. Speaking, speaking, like, on, the, speaking of oh, sitcom well, plots. Yeah, yeah, like what? <laughs> why? That was so weird. Okay, so why Zira you- and Cornelius <laughs> are at home. Talking about politics. Recast Cornelius, by yeah. the way. Yes, recast Cornelius. And then Zira and uh, Brent are eating their food, and then they just kind of come out, and they're like, surprise, we're here. <laughs> and um, they give Brent some, like, caveman-looking clothes, because his clothes are, like, too nice. So they're like, here's some rags. Yeah. And, uh, they oh, he got he did get shot, so they fix his arm. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why there's blood on the rag. Yeah, so, there's, so instead of just throwing the rag under the table or something, Zira, when Dr. Zayas come in, Zira's like, oh, he just hit me in the face. Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then Dr. Zayas is like, yeah. good. <laughs> that was you could so not think of any other yeah. <laughs> My husband just beat me. Yeah, yeah, and so then he's like, "Oh, good, good." Yeah, she's <laughs> yeah. mouthing off. Like, and, and everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. And then they just moved right. Back. <laughs> I was like, "That's what? right," because she <laughs> stood up in the meat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Crazy. Oh my god! And then later, she's like, "Oh, don't worry. If I get out of line, he'll hit me again." And Doctor Zayas is like, "No, no, no, no. Don't do that." Even though he just was, like yeah. <laughs> applauded him, it was so weird. It was really weird. At least be consistent. Yeah, yeah. and um, again, like that's one of those things where is that. A, is it a choice where, hey, like even the apes, they're, they, they're not going to make nuclear war, but they will, you know, they, they're they more evolved species. Right. Uh, or is it is it commentary on like these are the bad parts of man or was it just, hey, it's the 70s? And <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Definitely was 70s. Yep, yeah, me too. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, oh, there's poetry and pathos here. It's like, no, I think that that's just, let's just brush over that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Bring it back to him getting shot. So when they were hiding like in the bushes, oh yeah, and there was like that ape following them. It looked like he had no idea where they were, <laughs> and he <laughs> randomly shot into the bushes. Yeah, yeah, and he nailed them in the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I was like I was just like, did I not Perfect. process this Perfect properly? No, he was like, I hear something. Let me just randomly shoot into the yeah, bushes, which like, is what you're not supposed to do, and then not right. follow up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, gun <laughs> safety one hundred and one. I don't know, but um, I there was a part where. Maybe this didn't happen yet, but the, all the horse riding and the stunts, mm-hmm. is that later when they try to escape or is that both times? Mm. Um, I think that was later. That was the later yeah, escape. The later okay, escape. never mind then. The one, you're talking about the one where the horse completely... There's so oh, many yeah. insane <laughs> horse stunts. I was like, yeah. these poor uh, yeah, horses. Same. Oh, I my mean, God. Look at that one shot. I was like, is that horse okay? <laughs> yeah. Right. Like... Was did, where was, was that a sacrificial yeah. horse? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a part of it that's like sad because it was all of the westerns were wrapping up, and so it was all those horse wranglers, and it was yeah. like we just need to get work, and it's like ah, like that the, those stunts, maybe those are more expensive back in the day. Ah, let's just go ahead. Let's and just do them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna throw nets on all your yeah. horses and pull them to the ground. It was crazy. Some of those, I was like, yeah. oh my god, I like. Oof. I uh, I do think there's one other thing before we fully leave the ape city that we desperately need to talk about. Okay. I know, I know I keep talking about last week, but the other thing that we talked about was like, what crazy things are we going to see in ape society? Oh. Did anyone have ape sauna on their, <laughs> no, <I did> not. <laughs> on their bingo card? No. Yeah. yeah, we're placing bets over the parts of ape society that we're going to be subjected to. Were we going to see naked apes in a sauna? <laughs> I didn't think so. In fact, if I'm a director and that is this, I'm the, the special effects makes a person, sauna is my last choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, we saw a sauna, a political rally. Yeah. And uh, domestic abuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Less courtroom drama. Yeah. So we didn't get the we didn't get the complete SVU, but no, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. The sauna. I couldn't believe that. I was like, why? Why do they even have this? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I was when I saw it. I was like, how long did they sit in that makeup chair? <laughs> yeah. like, to, it's not just here now. You got a full got the, body. Yeah. Full body. Yeah. And, and, and you need not, to make yeah. it look worse by putting it, like matting the fur and oh, making yeah. it wet. Oh, yeah. And they had towels? Yeah, oh, yeah they added the sweat. <laughs> yeah, they added the sweat. Yeah. I'm like, this isn't right. Come on. Where'd they learn about this? Where'd they learn about this? <laughs> I don't know. Um... <laughs> Okay, so 
We leave Ape City. War is on, okay? Yeah. Dr. Zayas is on a horse riding with the gorillas off to who knows where, the Forbidden Zone somewhere. Um, also, Nova and James for, James Franciscus, Mr. Brandt, yeah. they've been chased off into some canyon and they go down into a, hole. a random hole. <laughs> and we have our holy God, this is the yeah. earth. Uh, Did they finally moment. do it? It was interesting to see a different take yeah. on this because yes. as you saw in the beginning, um, the way that Taylor finds out is seeing the Statue of Liberty. Right. So having right. this other characters find out on like a much smaller scale, like a telephone it and a little bit more track. personal. Yeah. 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 He was like, like, I live that. here. Yeah. I like that yeah. unfolding. I was like, oh, that's cool. And it feels more grand as they go further and further. Mm-hmm. It's like starts with this like, you know, the yeah. telephone, whatever. And then you start to see the... What was it? What was the big the New York Library yeah. and the, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Stock Library. Radio yeah. City? The, the, the thing, yeah. Where, yeah, where he had like the first is like, oh, the, the thing that makes it work better, I think, uh, as as a performance too, is that he's like, I lived here. Like he has that yeah, personal yeah. Right, connection right. to no, it. And, and, you, and you know, I think you feel that was a cool, I think, little yeah. like reveal. Mm-hmm. Although it was really funny, the choreography of when he's like thinking about it and he's doing his little soliloquy and he's spinning around that one like steel beam, like singing in the rain style, like he's just <laughs> super dramatically. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was great. And then it like, you know, the, the, it, it unfolds into this mystery of like, what the heck is down here? And I, I, I did, I did enjoy the like, what the hell is he going to find? Because yeah. like there's weird shit happening this whole movie with these freaking like this buzzing noise, right? Mm-hmm. Which right. also was like fucking driving me oh nuts. Oh my god, we, uh, <laughs> we had to turn it down every time. Yeah, yeah. It, was like, it was like I'm like, going crazy. Which maybe it's getting the point across, but like I'm feeling everything he's feeling. Yeah, I thought that that was incredible of walking through this, of having that sound, and then they really commit to it with the ladder of it turning on mm-hmm. and turning yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. And then it almost, you know transforms in this experimental score moment where I'm actually not sure. I wanted to look up to see if it was an actual piece of composed music or if it was a, just the sound designer doing it, mm. but it, it felt incredibly modern uh, and really effective. Like I thought it was so fucking cool. Um, yeah. I don't know. It was not uh, we did not get Jerry Goldsmith back no. this time, um, but I don't know if that was like fully score mm-hmm. or not. Um doesn't really say it doesn't say here on uh, I'll try to find out next week doesn't say here on <laughs> so on we're probably like halfway through the movie our guests uh, are you just like completely bewildered at this point are you on board <laughs> do you care what happens to Brent and Nova you know I I think I'm like 50% caring yeah. <laughs> Nova 20%. <laughs> Actually, I was going to say 40%. Nova, definitely. I wasn't sure if there was anything happening in her mind throughout all of this. Um, and I, I still was confused as to whether or not this was uh, the guy at the beginning. Oh, Whenever they would switch them out, like even before they go to the underworld and there's that vision moment, it would throw me back into, well, what's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, I guess Nova's probably more problematic in isolation in this movie because we do see other humans. We do see that they're all like that. Right. And for her, it's just like, yeah, like why is she even here? Yeah. One thing that I, that did kind of annoy me about this movie is that we're about to meet like this other uh, civilization of humans that are living underground. And we completely never even speak about like Nova's people and the humans. There were humans that were living above ground. They were all like Nova. They were a tribe. They were like trying to steal corn and stuff like that. But they were like, basically slaves compared to the apes. We only yeah. see those guys like in the cages mm-hmm. in this one very briefly, but I'm just like, how come some of the, I guess it makes sense. Some of the humans, I guess went underground. Yeah. Other ones probably died off and then were born, you know, and, and became these like field people yeah. or whatever. Over the uh, hundreds of years, you know, you would assume, especially with like the telepath, like, yeah. Oh, like yeah. the powers evolved over time. Um, which I thought was a weird, I, what a what a strange choice. Yes, <laughs> for the civilization. Yeah, so they yeah. meet these like spacey people at that one super famous church. Yeah, church York. nerd, church nerds. Yeah, they have kind of like a fortress of solitude yep. crystal uh, computer thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's the ruins of the St. Patrick's Cathedral. Thank you. Um, yes. Yeah, this whole this whole sequence was crazy. First of all, 
let me just say, I looked at the time and it, and it, uh, it's not until about minute 41 of this like hour and a half movie that yeah. they finally go underground. Oh, <laughs> yeah. like, to go beneath. Yeah, we yeah, finally go beneath, you know? I was like, wow, that took up a long it time. It was metaphorical. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's super interesting. You meet this one guy, he's immediately like clearly using some sort of telepathic thing like this. <laughs> And there's all these beeps and stuff. Well, before, before we, <laughs> oh, the water thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Before, water, before we yes. we meet them, right. we just see Brent try to murder Nova. Yeah, yeah for no reason. For no nowhere. reason. Which, like, there's a part of me that, that uh, like, I was thinking is like, oh, is this like man shouldn't exist because we did this? Because it's like in that course of the narrative for him like we kind of don't know what his full reaction right. is gonna be and i was like what the hell it was so confusing because he drinks dirty water for, first of all yeah. i wouldn't have even tried the dirty yeah, water in the gross. first place really and he's like play play spits it out nothing happens and then clean water just starts magically springing forth from the ground and he tries that and then he like tries to kill her so i was yeah. like is it Something in the water so was, that now I they can mind the control? Water. The nice water, like like the good water. Was that a vision or was it real water? No, I think it was real, but Why like. Why would it just start in that moment? Like, We've all thought about this scene I think more they than were, they yeah. did. They were running <laughs> in the past know. five minutes. <laughs> I think they like turned it on to distract them or something. I don't know. I but don't know. but because it ends up being their powers that are controlling him right. and not the water, I was like, what was the point of the water? But I guess just so he would have something to kill her in. That's what I'm part Part of me is like maybe the water was not real. Like maybe, right, yeah. maybe it was part of the vision. It was part of the whole. It was an illusion. Maybe I don't know if it was a, an illusion. I don't know. Yeah, she seemed pretty wet by the time she got out. <laughs> <of it. laughs> but yeah, no, it was weird because they did not establish before this moment this whole vision thing. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, what the hell is yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, it was so weird. Both of us were like. What? What's going on? <laughs> like, did I, did I miss something? Yeah, What's happening. Very bizarre. I was enjoying this because I was just like, what? yeah, I was just like, what in the world? You're like, okay, Brent. Wait, I, I don't even. Yeah. Enjoyed it because I was sick of her character. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. well, we're gonna like yeah. get rid of her, but then. I but then he was. Like, then he said, like, like get out of my head. Yeah. You know? yeah. And you're just like. Who? <laughs> right. what what's going on? I love his performance of like when he's going through the big cathedral door. It's almost like a really over dramatic community theater moment where it's just like, I won't leave the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I did think it was, I was like, I would have gone in the door like immediately. I don't know why they were hanging around outside there in the water. First yeah, I guess. Uh. Gross water. Yeah, so he goes in and we see like a priest or something. Yep. Yeah. Kneeling in well, we hear him talk first. He says something. And then he turns around and he's just using the mind thing. Yeah. yeah so not. basically they speak through telepathy. Uh, mm -hmm. they don't move their mouth unless they feel like it. And there's a giant bomb. Yeah, it's the cult of the bomb. For a while I thought it was like uh they just didn't want to pay these actors to have speaking roles. So they were just gonna <laughs> have it all be like we talk through our minds, but then they all did talk eventually so i was like oh, okay never mind was them Pay talking there, that was actually them talking right it wasn't supposed to be like no i think the, yeah it was actually them talking because the whole time i'm like then why did they do the first half <laughs> yeah 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 Hips and boops yeah. yeah and then the second half is like what why you know i don't know they're weird. like he's so primitive he can't understand us it's definitely interesting that of all the th and i guess it makes sense because you have this whole thing about apes are so shocked that a human even like can talk in the first movie and in this one that the idea they came up with for this futuristic slash underground society was like they don't bother talking yeah they, like i i don't know why they chose to do it that way but well, it's, it's also it's a little bit concept. of a stretch from like where the apes are like, yeah, like we have like catapults and like crude firearms. And then this super genius, like crystal computer thing is like, yeah, no, we haven't figured out how to make a weapon. We only have illusions, <laughs> Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what he says. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he gets brought up before the, I don't know. It's like council. a tribunal, basically. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're just questioning him. Um, they, yeah, they reveal that like everything they have is the sound deterrent and the visual yeah. deterrent and the, you know, whatever the laundry deterrent. <laughs> <laughs> I felt good that the wall of fire was fake because it yes. looks yeah. so bad. Same. I was like, Oh, thank God. Same. Okay. Yeah. I was like with these costumes, you couldn't do yeah. better fire. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, well, I do love that the reveal about these people is literally this movie is just like, Oh, you thought we spent all of our VFX makeup budget. Guess again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So great. Um, 
But basically, yeah, they, they want to know what's going on with the apes. They yeah. know the apes are probably coming. We want to know when, why, how, because... Yeah, they don't have anything to fight. Them, One lantern if the apes are coming by land. Two lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, he barely even knows anything. He just yeah. ends up telling them they're coming. And then there's this whole thing where... The apes are coming. They reveal that they're, like, so evolved that they don't, like... Need skin. Do violence to anyone. <laughs> they just make their enemies kill like, each, yeah, other each other instead. And then they throw Nova at him, and they're like, we're going to make you kill her again. But instead of making him kill her, they just make him kiss her yeah that was yeah, weird that was yeah well no yeah it was like a kiss and choke kiss. yeah, yeah. It, but it was like why did you need the kiss part just to, you <laughs> they're know. just yeah. throwing kisses yeah, they, they just they just wanted they just wanted sexual violence it's for some reason the trailer i'm sure yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah maybe <laughs> It was bizarre. I mean, it's a pretty dope dig on U.S. foreign policy in the 70s, but... <laughs> right, this is like at the very end of Vietnam. Yeah. So the protesters, all that mm-hmm. stuff would be like happening, you know, very yeah. close to this movie. But so. yeah, we, no, we're not killing everybody. We just make our enemies kill each other. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very weird. Um, What else? I was going to say... Music? Uh, well, yeah, we are. Let, we'll get to that. But okay. uh, there's also another hilarious. Uh, I mean, it's not hilarious, but I, I thought it was funny. Um, we, you know, we learn that all this stuff is like a, these visual deterrents and stuff. And so we see the apes like marching on, you know, into two the two. Forbidden oh, Zone, yeah. into wherever this place is, you know. Oh, yeah. And they come across like what looks to be a bunch of their ape brethren <laughs> upside down on fire <laughs> on these pikes. And like also the lawgiver and the giant statue. And I just thought it was so funny because they're all there like, oh, my God. And they're like cowering. I mean, it's kind of like the... It's it's like what they do when they see the, the Wizard of Oz, like the yeah. fake <laughs> Wizard oh, of Oz, right. and they're like, like oh, no, no. no, it's so I think terrifying. The what do we call these people? The humans or whatever these underground? They're mutants. Are they called? Yeah, mutants? they call mutants. They call them mutants. They're, they're okay, telepaths. anyways, so the yeah. human yeah. telepath people. They went too far when they no, made the giant exactly. statue of the lawgiver. It's like the dead bodies, the people screaming, the fire. That was all great. Very like you know the apes were believing it. There was even like a discussion of like let's shoot them out of mercy, and of course. Ursus is like, no, no, we can't kill another yeah, ape. And Dr. Zayas is like, dude, they're burning to death. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. just I think, shoot I them. think even the statue, they probably could have got away with it and they would have turned around out of fear. When the statue well, started to bleed. bleed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's still, I think that caused some fear in them. It did, it, it, but it, it immediately but then, but, told Dr. Zayas that it was like, fake. Wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's something's not adding up. Doctor Zayas got to have his like religious hero moment of yeah. like, this is Joan of he Arc. He was like, like "It's a lie." <laughs> also, like Doctor Zayas, it would have been great if he just burned up and it was not a lie. He just burned, <laughs> and he's dead. Doctor Zayas is so devoted to like the lawgiver and that religion that if there was going to be a giant statue like that, yeah. there's no way he wasn't the one that built it. <laughs> right. So he, as soon as he saw it, he was like, "Oh hell no, no. <laughs> this is fake," and then revealed it. Uh, <laughs> And they bust in and they just start killing people left and right. Yep. I, I, I love that, um, you know, apparently they, they, the telepaths can send out like, um, they can send out messages at the adult and infant level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the funniest. <laughs> the, funny. the teens, teens, <laughs> fuck yeah, the teens. Yeah, Nobody cares yeah. about them. The infants, they go uh, inside adults. Well, they were, they were like telling them where to go. Basically. Yeah. Adults yeah. come to the church. I thought it was funny that they could direct the (laughs) telepaths to different ages. Okay, so they can cause illusions for the apes, but why can't they control the apes the way that they control? I think they said that they were too stupid or something. Their brains, yeah, too different. Oh, is that what they said? Well, they said that they they said that they brought other apes there where Mr. Brent was standing, and they couldn't get anything out of them because maybe their skulls were too thick, or that's what they said. Like their skulls were too thick, or they just had nothing in it, or something like that. But interesting. Okay. I feel like they weren't affected by it the same way. Also, I couldn't help but think about it because they were like, oh, you know, the visions, they could have those visions happen above ground with the yep. fire and, you know. But it's like they didn't know where the apes were. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, are they coming? Are the apes coming? Also, they don't know where they are, but then suddenly they get fire and they get the, <laughs> yeah, That yeah. didn't make sense. I yeah, know. I want the scene where it was just like two of the, the mutants out there as like a father and son and they were just practicing their illusions. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but they just have people like, yeah, making like bleed. Yeah. <laughs> making illusions all around like the perimeter of the city at all times. <laughs> yeah. so it's like two guys, you handle the north, you guys handle the south. Like, I don't know. But also, also what, a joke, why did yeah, the vision yeah, disappear? <laughs> because he said it's fake? Like, is that because yeah. he didn't tr- believe it? So it... 
disappeared for everyone. Yeah, or did or did they just <laughs> they gave yeah. up when they yeah, they're just like oh no they like it's they, not they, real. They, oh, they got us. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe they're telepaths. They knew they were rules. They, you just yeah, like, yeah. jet clown, and then it's, then it goes away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but uh, I think you know we, we got to talk about the big cathedral sequence, <laughs> which I think is or the reintroduction of Taylor. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess no, it kind the, of... the, the church is first. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, the church yeah, service. Yeah. I think the church service is yeah. first. But uh, either way, yeah, we can get yeah. to that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the but... organ is still in good working order. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully. <laughs> they, they all been, they, they, we've learned that uh, they worship this bomb, like, because they say, like, we use our voices only when we pray and sing to our God. And suddenly Brent is like, holy. I don't Christ. know how he figured it out. Yeah, he's like, the bomb is your God. Uh, he puts that together really fast. But, um, it turns out, well, I guess we learn later that this is like the doomsday bomb that mm-hmm. can blow up everything. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Entire planet. Ignite the atmosphere. Yeah, which is super funny because we're recording this one day after Oppenheimer has won <laughs> That's right. the yep. Oscar for Best Picture. It's basically the same movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> same, same, same. Uh, yeah, basically they argue about whether the atmosphere will ignite and yeah. the near zero mm-hmm. chances, just like mm-hmm. an Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so they 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 call all the adults to this church where they're all yeah. sitting in pews and when there's they tell this, the babies what to do what do you think the babies the, do the babies i think they were just supposed to like stay inside or do you yeah. think that they can control them and they just like crawl and like i like that line when he's like they will find the city of the dead but then there's people everywhere <laughs> right. getting shot in the streets i'm like okay that didn't work out for them okay um but i love okay i love this church scene because mm-hmm. There is like full, it is like, I mean, it's a nightmare, honestly. It's yeah. very, it's very nightmarish. And I feel like under the certain circumstances, this could, thing kind of thing could haunt you the rest of yes. your life. Yeah, honestly, oh, yeah. It was like, I thought it was a very well done. Yes, yes. It's so good. Yeah. If you're like nine and this happens, like your life might be over. <laughs> like the, the, the leader guy is giving this creepy sermon about the bomb. And then there are these, uh, like the rest of the congregation is singing these dissonant, horrifying like versions of hymns yeah. that you've heard before. Right. Uh, let me just play. I got, I pulled a couple clips cause okay. I was like, this is my favorite part. So the preacher's up there talking like this. Glory be to the bomb and to the holy fallout as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. And it's like, if, if you've gone, if you've had any, spend any time going to church, it's like just really creepy to hear like that kind of, same kind of language used in this way. It's like very, very weird for me. Um, but then you've got immediately after that, you've got like the congregation going like this. It's horrifying. Like progression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the so, the hymn that they sing, "All Things Bright and Beautiful," with bomb. We've have played that at, yeah. at Bell Choir like before. I know that song. It's so funny. That's how you know it's a dystopia, though, because the scales have eroded. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that uh, throughout this entire scene, you have Nova and Brent. Well, Nova's just sitting there, like whatever. They did but her the, hair. They they, yeah, cut, they, yeah, they cut the Wizard of Oz like montage <laughs> right. where they glamour up, yeah. but they they did her hair real nice. <laughs> They're all dressed up, but like you've, they keep cutting to Brent, like uh, looking like what the fuck is going on. Like <laughs> while, while while stuff like this is happening, uh, they cut to him while they're doing this. Almighty God, who destroyed all devils and created angels. <laughs> what the fuck is- Could you imagine sitting there and, like these people are dead serious about this, and you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> So um, the big reveal, let's talk about it. Yeah, uh, is that they're wearing masks oh, yes. for some yeah. reason? Yeah. What is the reason? I, don't yeah. Know. Yeah. I was wondering <laughs> if anyone else knew. I mean, it was an amazing moment. Right. Yeah. It was so it was great. horrifying. I think that was another moment when Almog went, "Oh my god, how much money did yeah. you yeah. have?" Yeah. 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 It's funny. Immediately after that scene, looked at the budget and was like three million. <laughs> yeah. 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 What? Yeah. <laughs> Times have changed. Yeah. 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 If I but. wanted to do a really try hard explanation, I would say that in the face of the bomb, they want to be in like the people that look that created the bomb. And so it's a full like 
making themselves look that way as a, like a religious thing. Well, but I'm, that's a very try hard explanation. I'm assuming <laughs> they're trying to look like the creators of, of the, the bomb. Atomic yeah, I like this this theory. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why they would have like the regular masks. Well, because okay, if but you're a victim to- of a nuclear holocaust, yes, you might be messed up like that. But then the next generation would probably not. They would have like yeah. uh, disease. You know, like radiation lasts for a while. Yeah, but like that many generations of thousands of years, and then they all look like that. I guess they like from tra- from a traumatic like maybe. I mean, I don't it, know. It, it, I guess if it changes your like genome I enough, yes. But then, yeah, why cover it up if everybody looks like that? Right. That's yeah. Right. Some it's crazy like, ritual. It's like the you know, it's what you learn from your parents, maybe. Yeah. yeah maybe. Oh, that's Again, true. Maybe the original one. Theory. Yeah, another try hard theory. <laughs> and then my try hard theory gets blown apart because then that's how they would look at church while they're worshiping the bomb and not removing that right. in the church. That's, yeah. That was just, I was just like, I have no idea what's about to happen because they start going like, we shall all reveal our true selves. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, they're lizard people. <laughs> I, I didn't know if they were going to be apes under there. Yeah. Like what the deal I was. Like, I thought they were going to be apes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was so, so very confusing. So horrifying. And like their vision of them all singing and they show the organist. He looks like a fucking Frankenstein monster. Yeah. It's like, how do we get underneath the Denver airport? Very scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's the Psalm book of Mendez too. And that guy is Mendez, which I'm like, I guess I'm happy. They thought a Latino guy was going to rule the, the mutant society, but I don't know. Whatever. Oh God. I thought that was a great. It's reveal. great. It's really cool. It was it's really just cool so scene. out there. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, wow. All right. They went for it. Well, and I think you mentioned that <laughs> like John value. Chambers, the makeup guy, yes. works on Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. So it makes so, a lot of yes. sense. Oh, yeah. The face reveal. Oh, the masks, yeah. <sighs> yeah, but it was one of those when they're like, oh, a telepathic civilization with beeps and boops. This could not get weirder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or can it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I'm, still, I'm probably will have nightmares about that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Pretty horrifying. That's a, yeah. It, it, that reminds me of my experience of watching the Temple of Doom at too young of an age. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that would do it. Uh, yeah. So Taylor, Taylor, yeah, he's yeah. there. Beep, beep. <laughs> Charlton Heston is back. Yeah, and in then they cage. have to fight each other. He looks like he's been drinking in there the whole time. <laughs> he does. He didn't look quite as fit as the first no. movie. Yeah. <laughs> also, that fight lasted a little too long. Yeah, it, it was did. a brutal fight. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, can't, you you wait for the gate to be used. Yeah, yeah you're just like it's what really a horrible pointy. gate, by the oh, way. Yeah. Like, yeah. of course you're gonna end up getting impaled you on get your crunched own gate. In it. Like, but cool prison design. Sure. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. I uh, yeah, I knew he was gonna die, so I thought like, damn, this would be a crazy way for to just have the new like version 2.0 kill him. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. thought that's what was gonna happen, but <laughs> fully take over the role. <laughs> Um, but I, I like the idea that they just make their enemies fight each other, even though it yeah. doesn't make sense that the apes are then just shooting everybody. <laughs> right. so, but I mean, they're fighting, but then Nova is walking down the hallway and she has her like spike moment or whatever. She's oh, going to yeah. say one word. Mm-hmm. One word. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't take a clip of it, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. 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 You got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> But I do think it was admirable to make her do it that way instead of just having her sound yeah, yeah. normal because yeah. it makes sense that like no one in generations has spoken yeah. and yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. I, li- I liked that. Then she dies. Yeah. <laughs> Which she that was him, so weird. Yeah. In essence, by yeah. saying his name. Yeah. Only to then have him die a moment later. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even show where she got shot. I guess it's no. just like they were running out of budget by that point. Her death <laughs> was really weird because I feel like they see this ape coming and it feels like the ape walks up to them really slowly for like five minutes and then shoots. <laughs> and I was like, no one trying to stop this guy. And then I'm like, she's dead. What? Like, I didn't even know Look, what happened. That's the crack shot that got the, got him Brent in the bush without even right. trying. So <laughs> yeah, that's with that yeah, guy. Yeah, been the same guy. <laughs> maybe, Straight maybe. to the heart. <laughs> um, they have a little moment. Taylor yeah. said, yeah. This so, moment was weird <laughs> you know? like it did not feel climactic enough nope. for me i don't know just like that i don't i don't feel that i don't know like i don't feel she clearly, was clearly the charlton Hesse was there for they, <laughs> they had him for the day <laughs> well, yeah, it's yeah. just weird because they went yeah. through this whole thing where like in the first movie where they're like we don't want to say really that they had sex or that she could get pregnant right. or anything they don't even really have them kiss in the first movie yeah. her kissing the other guy 
in this movie was like the only time that she like actually really did anything sexual that we yeah. saw. They um, they spooned before while they were sleeping yeah. in a cold cage. So you know you can forgive <laughs> that. But um, and the exec they talk a lot about how the executives were like, we don't want to say that he had sex with her because she's like not even like you know right. like I, I, which i'm surprised that back then these executives right. even had the wherewithal to be like how could she provide <laughs> consent if she right. doesn't like have you know a developed brain or whatever to make choices and you know no right and wrong or speak or anything and it's so the same executives who approved the yeah my husband my husband domestically abused me yeah. good great yeah but anyway so i guess that makes like <laughs> sense where they didn't want to have him be like oh nova i love you goodbye Bye, blah 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 you know like some kissy weird thing um she's just like she's dead yeah. <laughs> so dead and then uh taylor and brent go to the chapel to try to because basically they're like you know the leader guy's like i'll do what must be done yeah and he's so at this those. point what do you how do you guys think this is gonna wrap up like yeah. what i did i did not see the ending coming i thought we were gonna get something but yeah so i did not realize until we started this that that charlton heston was like he was like, yeah gonna die in this <laughs> okay and so for me i was like oh shit he's dead and also <laughs> that was also kind of a weird you know kind of a weird kind of quick uh situation but i didn't know how i i honestly did not know after being you know after seeing the civilization of telepaths and i was like this is weird Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard to predict. Anyway, I have no idea. <laughs> I think I felt similarly. I was like, this could go one of many ways. I have no clue. But it ended with the red lever. Or, right? Yeah. 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 How did he even like, know that is, was the one? Which is insane in so many ways. Because there it's are, like... There's like 12 levers. Yeah. There's nine clear ones. <laughs> <laughs> and the three ones you have to pull are very clear. The ones with the big colorful rock in the top. And it's like bombs. They, they tear it down like, a, like it's a statue of Saddam Hussein. Like they're like, they, yeah, they, they, they do. Yeah. Tear down right. this idol. And they, you, then it starts to steam. And it's like, right. usually bomb on impact probably explodes. <laughs> uh, and then it's starting to steam. And then like, it's the, 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 all, like, oh, all the apes are trying to like, well, everyone's getting shot. Everyone's yeah. getting killed. This bomb like, has met so many stages where I thought there would be, you know, it would actually be better if it happened accidentally. Like they didn't know what was going on, but no, <laughs> it's like we go all the way back around <laughs> that. It's like, no, we're, we're ending the world intentionally again because we learned zero lessons, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like, like, out of spite. Brent gets really, really badly shot, but yeah. he does kill Ursus first, head. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, Ursus does. does. I did not expect Brent to get shot like yeah. that. I knew about Tron Heston, so when he got shot, I was kind of like, okay, but yeah. I was like, oh, Brent's gonna die too <laughs> yeah, now? Really? Oh, wait, like Dr. Zayas? You know, yeah. like, I was like, oh my God, everyone's getting shot. It's the end of Rogue One. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know. Up. I guess like rules of movies, they've introduced this atomic bomb. It's maybe yeah. gotta go off, right? But Chekhov's because bomb. we have said like it will destroy the whole planet, and yeah. I know that we have more movies right. like coming oh, very yeah. soon. Yep. More to be exact. So I don't know Literally what next the hell, year, there's another movie how this is going to happen, but yeah. yeah I, I was like, wait, but there's another movie right. shortly after. Like what the happened? very next yeah. year. There's another and, movie. And, yeah. uh, and also bold, if it just flashed to white, that would have been, you know, and score comes up, but then there's just this goofy, narr <laughs> goofy I narration. I, here it is. Ready? This is, this is the very end of the film. In one of the countless billions of galaxies in the universe, lies a medium-sized star and one of its satellites a green and insignificant planet is now dead and that's, that's it. It. dead <laughs> men tell no tales <laughs> nice this strike, is buddy. the guy from disneyland <laughs> yeah. oh is it yeah it oh, is really? that's <laughs> yeah. Funny. Un uncredited uh narration from paul freeze who is the voice of every old ride at disneyland haunted yeah. mansion that's uh great. pirates of the caribbean um Adventures of the Inner Space, like whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's so, amazing. It yeah. somehow makes the movie infinitely better. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and he's like, if you can't get these two societies to get along, there's always my way. It is, it is, it makes it very definitive. So I will be interested to see. I just couldn't how believe they, that it completely just cut right, to black and was right. like, bye. How they wiggle their way into a sequel from this. Yeah. It's, it's got to be one of the most abrupt endings I've ever yes. seen in my life. Ever. Especially because. 
all the credits are in the beginning. Yeah, right? yeah. So, like, you literally don't even get the end credits to, like, Yeah, you got, like, another there's cast. Like a, there's, like, a like, single goodbye. card or something yeah, yeah, that's yeah. in dead silence. Yeah. Like, no score or anything. It's, very, it's crazy. It's like really I was, like, dark. very surprised. Yeah. It's, like, very depressing. I, yeah, I didn't have time to, like, do a bunch of research, but I was, like, very curious to know what people thought, like, in theaters. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's, like... I feel like the second half of the movie is just like an endless onslaught of like insane things. Yes. And then the movie ends like that. I would have been like, wait, what? That's the end? Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. It was interesting because I didn't, I didn't go really deep into this, but I just like on the Wikipedia, the reception, it said that Siskel was like, this movie doesn't have anything to say, blah, 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 blah. I was like, I think that's the least of it. It has too many things to say. <laughs> like it's trying to say so many things. Like I feel like whoever did end up writing it was like, you know what? I'm still just mad about Vietnam. So that's what I'm going to write in. I'm mad about the, the atomic bomb and I'm mad yeah. about Vietnam. Yeah. And, and you have told me you need an ape sequel. So here it is. Yes. Deal with it. You know, like it just, that's what it felt like. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. This movie's crazy. Well, what would you have wanted to happen? No, I don't have any problem. I could have with done this. with Mark, Wal Mark Wahlberg being in it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great addition. <laughs> as filmmakers, as writers, if you have to do the Ape sequel, <laughs> oh, where do you go no, with it? Yeah. Like, what other ending? It's almost, again, I go back to what a wild second part of the movie. It's almost like, it almost like that's the only way it kind of has to yeah. in some way. I don't know what, what ending would have been more. Not that it, it was, it was like, very satisfying and completely dissatisfying in another way, but it, it like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what other, I feel like the movie it, it, you know, nowadays everyone gets locked in for a million sequels immediately. Right. I do think that like if Heston would have been down to just totally come back and like tell his story and not have this new guy, I think that would have made the movie like so much better. It could have just thwarted the bomb. Maybe yeah. that's why they yeah. did it. Or it still too. could have happened, yeah. but like it could have just been like, more interesting to see his character growth instead of him being gone. Like the whole I guess movie. I wondered because they had the third film come out like a year later, right? Yeah. yeah. So they must have had, I'm assuming, the next script because like they don't take. <sighs> it was knows? the 70s. Well, I mean, we'll like, find it, out next it, week. It could have so. just been like I, I that. And then tune in. I haven't looked yet. <laughs> Cocaine. Yeah. I mean, it might it might go yeah. prequel or it might jump forward. Like we don't really know. Uh, I'm curious if the apes become more threatening in their physicality yeah. because <laughs> when I first saw them in this movie, I was like, oh, they just seem like humans. <laughs> yeah. Like, not They're just... by them in any real meaningful right. way. Yeah. I, I think that the thing that leading up to that, you know, famous Rod Sterling ending from mm -hmm. the first one, and it leaves Taylor and, you know, like there, you have to like sit with that as, as, as we as a society self annihilated. Right. And I think that there's so much, interesting story to be explored with that theme what you do with that revelation when you knowing that there's other humans out there and i feel like that this decides that none of that is interesting <laughs> and uh moves on to other things and i think that i would like to see more of that exploration yeah i, I think that we actually might be leaving that train might have left the station forever <laughs> well if, if you're stuck with the title or the idea of we're going beneath you know we're going yeah. underground i mean i did we did kind of predict like okay they're probably going to see more humans but i never thought there would be like this Mutants. futuristic yeah. and they could have been like a little bit more intelligent or civilized than nova sure. was that we had seen but i did still think they were going to be like you know tribal kind of like living off the land people but they were just so futuristic right, in right. like a krypton yeah. Like yeah. weird way and it's like it's interesting to think like oh, okay like even this far in the future we still haven't learned to like get away from the bomb and all yeah, that stuff I mean, but i think the fact that they're like these goofy mutants with yes. powers like takes away from that because you're like these aren't really yeah. humans so it doesn't feel like my people still haven't learned their lesson it, it's like right, these weird right. future people this is it's like they they exist on the same planet, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's like obviously very different like lines of evolution over the last whatever thousand, whatever years. But it's like, they're very aware of each other. Like, yeah. just like where the apes are, the apes coming. You think they would have been more intermingling? I don't know. It just felt so separate. Yeah. Right. Now that I, I didn't. Quite well, it's like, it. it's not like that they're out in the Mojave Desert. It's like all the apes are in New York and they live like in Connecticut, like they're just upstate a little right. bit. Yeah. <laughs> right. hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't know. Is there anything else you guys want to say before we do the, uh, yield, uh, rating hmm. system? Well, 
I'm, it's just now I have to watch the rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, gotta, I got locked yeah, in. Yeah. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> it feels like a little bit of a everything but the kitchen sink approach because there's a lot of stuff. This is like the Strange Tales era. Like there's a lot of sci fi. There's a lot of these. You know, cult, this is surely not the first time a cult of a bomb thing uh, has existed and, and comic strips and things like that. So it felt like trying to grasp for a lot of those things and I'm all for it swing for the fences on it but it felt like that because of that maybe I agree with Siskel that it doesn't actually have a ton to say or it just didn't it couldn't pick yeah. like yeah it's like well religion's bad humans yeah. are bad war is bad atomic energy is bad yeah. You know, yeah all these things are bad yeah, yeah. but apes bad <laughs> yeah humans bad yeah, yeah. Get a human the apes get pretty human, sidetracked like, honestly yeah. it is kind of funny because i know like even zaius's speech that from the last movie that played in, that he plays in the, again in the beginning and like i know that we're supposed to be like oh how could he say these things about humans i'm so offended and but every time he's giving one of those diatribes i'm like yes the yeah accurate right <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, wait, yeah man horrible yep, yep yep i agree with you <laughs> right yeah you know yep <laughs> But also, like, especially you, Dr. Zayas, are not any better. better like, right. that's the thing. Like, so, I don't know. All right. I think uh, I'm going to have to ask, how many bleeding lawgiver idols would you give Ooh. beneath mm. the planet of the apes? I don't know. You, you can start. Sure, I can go. Uh, yeah. I'm going to give it six. Oh, okay. Bleeding lawgiver idols. Gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> fake bleeding uh, lawgivers. Yeah, fake. Don't panic. They're fake. And I have uh, to ask, what, it's out of how many oh, bleeding? Out of ten. ten. Out of ten. ten. Sorry, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I think last week we gave all nines to yeah. the first yeah. one. So wow. yeah. Pretty wow. good. Wow. Well. Um, I think this movie is not as bad as people maybe think yeah. when it came out. I... I, I uh, what I love about it is that they clearly were like, we have to top the like shock and surprise of the ending. And I feel like that led to the total insanity of what happens in this movie. <laughs> uh, and I give it a lot of points for that. Cause it's just crazy. And mm -hmm. you're like, I, I mean, yeah, I could not have predicted half the things that happened in this movie. Um, and I love the weirdness of the mutants and all that stuff. I do feel like the apes get a little short shrift in this. They're kind of in the beginning, and then it's like at the end, you know, I don't know. They they, they go away for a long time, which I think is a little bit odd because I feel like that's probably a lot of what people liked about the first one too, yeah. the apes. And clearly as we talked to Brian, like the apes were a big thing. Yeah. Um. So maybe, hopefully that'll be fixed in, in the next ones and they'll focus a little bit more on the apes instead of these mutant humans or whatever. Um. But yeah, I, I just feel like, I actually like James Franciscus as yeah. an actor. Yeah, I thought he did too. pretty good. Like he has all these, we didn't talk too much about it, but like, you know, when he's talking with the telepaths, there's all these parts where he just has to act like they spoke and, and then like react to it. And I thought he did a great job in that when it was basically like a monologue almost. Um, I thought that was great. I just feel like, yeah, there's, it doesn't quite come together to have like the same, like meaningful impact as the first film. Um, but the wildness of it, <laughs> it's really enjoyable to me. Yeah. Um, and just interesting to, on a sequel level for us to mm -hmm. be like, okay, this started kicking off all these sequels in a, like one of the first big franchises. Uh, so this is an interesting exercise for us to watch too. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit lower and just give it five bleeding gigantic lawgiver statues. Uh, Right? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it is. Close enough. Uh, I'm going to do five, yeah. Um, <laughs> I always make it too complicated to remember. <laughs> I, did, I did like, um, like, the weird multi-crowded messages that this movie yeah. was like weird liberal things this movie was trying to say um and i don't need a movie to really be uplifting or happy at the end so no. i was like okay i mean if they figured out everybody what everybody liked and came away with from the first movie was a shocking twilight zone-esque ending like i think that they, you know they managed to accomplish something that surprised me <laughs> and like you said Many of these sequels we see, like, just we know exactly what's going to happen mm -hmm. or, you know, the worst thing that you think could happen does happen. Yeah. Um, and so I did enjoy that it was like, wait, what? Like, you know, surprising things that I did not expect happened, you know, at every turn around this film. Um, but I really just, yeah, I just didn't like the futuristic stuff because, not, like, they just didn't, like, I think either go all in on that or, like, it's, don't yeah i don't know it's a lackluster response to the questions that yeah the, it would have been far far more poses. interesting if the people under there were just 
slightly more regular people, like the people they've already established in yeah. this universe. And they still could have had the atomic bomb. They still could have worshipped it. I'm sure they still could have thrown a rock at it and made it explode or, you know, hit it with a rock really hard like uh, Juliet yeah. does, of course. That's how you set off an atomic yeah. bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we always talk about loss no matter what. Uh, yeah. The incident. Uh, yeah, the incident. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, so I would I would give it five. But I, you know the makeup, the set design, every I, uh, I want to mention too. There was some really super incredible matte paintings like yeah, in this oh, yeah. that were so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, five for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I agree with everything you said, and I'm going to give it six bleeding lawgiver idols mm -hmm. just because that sound design I thought was mm -hmm. so incredible in that moment, and to play that all silently and kind of with this orchestral, not orchestral, coming from the sound, coming from dissonant noises, um, I found was a really effective, quiet, kind of cerebral, emotional moment in mm -hmm. this giant blockbuster sci-fi, like, sequel movie. Um, and I thought that that was the boldest choice that uh, that the movie made. And, you know, I would rather have more what the fuckness uh, than less. Yeah. <laughs> and so if it's gonna, if you're going to, if you're going to fail, fail interestingly. And I think it does do that. Okay. Our guests. Yeah. yeah, I would have to give it probably four yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. giant bleeding <laughs> lawgiver idols. Um, I agree with everything that is said. I think <laughs> yeah. I think Liz, you you hit on like not having a specific thing to right. say, yeah. and to me, that's like one of the most important like things in a movie. And I think that was one of the biggest things that I was missing and that al along with um you know if if charlton heston was fully committed yeah <laughs> maybe i would have enjoyed it a little more yeah. but but i had a blast watching it and the what the fuck moments hit hard <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i would have to echo most of what was said um, i think it for um i again the story to me is very important. It felt very disjointed, but I did appreciate uh, the costumes and some of the, I was talking about the camera, like zoom ins and things of that sort that are so uh, timely to that era of filmmaking mm -hmm. that aren't relevant now um, that I, I haven't seen filmmakers try to embrace that type of style. Um, I did appreciate that. Um, and I thought some of the actors were, were really fun to watch. Some no. definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're less. Yeah, some interesting what the fuck moments where I was like, what is happening? It's wild. So uh, it definitely got my attention, but I'm not sure in all of the right ways. Yes. Yeah. Fair. And you have to realize that we have eight more of these to go. So we're usually pretty generous at the beginning. Well, I was yeah. Say, because like, <laughs> I, you, can't, you can't go too far we, uh, we, from here. Do you ever re-review after seeing... Some, sometimes we'll sometimes. redo like our ranking, yeah, but not yeah, so much, not the, so much rating. the rating. Yeah, I would yeah. say not every time for the last in the series we do a ranking, but when we yeah. do, that's usually when, it, it's usually because revisionist. we have to be like, okay, right, we were right. too like, harsh honestly, on that one. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. and we've seen so many bad sequels too that yeah. it's like anytime there's one that's like somewhat interesting, we're like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's I a glorious say, film. This film <laughs> is a ten out of ten in the sense that now I have to see the rest. Yeah. 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 To me, it felt like a transitional film. Like I hadn't mm. seen what was before or yeah. after, but it almost felt like the they didn't need it. Like the two, this first one probably could have connected seamlessly to the third one. Right. Well, yeah. there is no after. It's an atomic bomb. Right. That yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I was going to say. Let's let's place bets on for, okay, yeah, for next what? week. Well, how do we like? If, like, how do you? For for next season on Planet of the Apes. So yeah, I mean, I guess the options are prequel. It never even happened. Yep. Prequel. Um. Jump forward. Jump, jump forward. Or Do we know the the title or maybe. Yes, what? that we definitely. So know. the title of the next film is Escape from the Planet Escape of the Apes. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Oh, some people survived. Some people survived. So, so may, yes. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say yeah, maybe some people got off world. Somehow. The, 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 the cobalt coated bomb wasn't yeah. as great as but the voiceover says the planet, planet is, is dead. dead. Yeah, it's like it's totally. So gone. they only have a little while to escape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't see how you can just act like it didn't happen. So yeah, it must be it some must be people that it's irradiated, somehow. and there was yeah, maybe yeah. there's a camp or something. It'll yeah. now be a big old piece of breaks apes off. So that take off their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to slightly. Yeah, have another face, face, and then have to take another. <laughs> there's thing. another face. It'll be like uh, uh, how to how to. 
cook for four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another Twilight Zone. <laughs> how, to, how to eat humans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the, uh, the, the, um, the title definitely does not scream that it's like a reboot or something. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> like it's a new story. Well, that's uh, what we get with these later films that we're yeah. eventually going to get to in the 2010s, but we have a long ways to go still. When was so. the first of the latest? Was it 2010? Uh, like, I don't know. The James Franco that one. seems I about said 2010s, right. Twenty yeah. tens, but I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. That seems about right. Seems I know about that right. the yeah, uh, like I was about to say Tim Allen. Oh my god, the Tim Burton was 2001. <laughs> yeah, the Tim Burton one. The Tim Allen. <laughs> one. The Tim Allen one. What a say, nightmare! I would no. pay good money. <laughs> <to watch that. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that would be oh horrifying. <laughs> no. Okay. But, uh, uh, yeah. So definitely. Uh, Join us for the rest of these. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back. Find next out what week. happens next. Yeah, and if you have um, suggestions for future franchises for us to do uh, in the summer or later, or have any comments that you want to say about apes, uh, just email us at sequelrights at gmail dot com or find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Sequel Rights. Oh, and I'll just do a quick shout out that uh, I was in Vidiots and Eagle Rock. If you're oh, local yeah. to LA here, they have all of these movies for oh. rent. They have the TV show, <gasps> which we might talk about if there's interest in that. Um, <laughs> but uh, just a plug for Vidiots because they are fantastic. Vidiots is great. Yes. They're awesome. Yeah, and uh, thank you so much to our guests, uh, Jennifer and Almog. Thanks yeah, for being this here. Was a blast. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, their movie is called Trust, and you can find it on. Uh, VOD right now. And is there anywhere that people can uh, follow you guys or read up on the latest and greatest? Yeah, you can find me at Jen Hearts 247 and you can follow the film at Trust a Feature Film. Mm. Yeah, awesome. and I'm at uh, Almog at Almog.aa. Sweet. Yes. Awesome. We'll follow their work. Uh, we're excited to see what you guys have coming up after that. Next, Absolutely. next awesome. thing. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having us, really. Thank this so is so much fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks everyone for being here and we'll see you guys next week for Escape from the Planet of the Apes. But uh, we'll leave you with this one final thought. You make us very sad, Mr. Brent. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I was like, it leaves off in the same tone as the ending. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>